Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about the first year C8 Corvette, which is a 2020, 10,000 miles later on this bad boy, the pros, the cons, and the alarming. Hello everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. Today I am super excited to report to you that I am at 10,000 miles with the Captain America C8 and I'm telling you right now, every mile has been wonderful. Have I had some issues? Yes, we'll get into those in a minute. But every mile has been wonderful. And before we jump into the video, if you have not smashed that thumbs up button yet, please do so. This helps promote my channel all over YouTube. It really breaks the algorithm that stops videos from getting a lot of views and gets them a lot of views. So please help me out. I have a wonderful thumbs up squad just like Chuck over at Corvettes 918 used to say. Also, if you have not joined this wonderful Brink of Speed community, make sure you do so by hitting that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. All right. So before we get into the 10,000 miles, I want to give you guys a brief update on all the modifications that I have coming for this car and what's going on with each of them. So let me tell you about each of these things. Okay, so I figured I would talk about the most anticipated and uh, most talked about modification that people always ask me about every time they see me and that is right there the wheels okay so i have some beautiful black diamond wheels that i'm having customized and i'm not going to reveal to you guys what i'm having done to them however i am going to let you know that unfortunately it's taken a really long time and on top of it taking a really long time it's going to take even longer this has nothing to do with how long it's taking to customize them this has to do with the person that i chose to do this is having some health issues that i won't get into but it's it's causing a big delay and so it's just not going to happen for a little bit longer which obviously i'm disappointed about but I also understand and we'll just have to wait. I have to have patience. That's number one. Number two is the front splitter. That has already been ordered, but it is not on the way yet. I'm expecting it any day now though, so I will have a new front splitter to show you guys soon enough. As far as the side skirts go, I do not have those on order yet but I don't think it'll be too much longer until those are on order and I'll have those on the car as well. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna tell you about is back here. I do have an engine cover that I'm picking up tomorrow. But uh, anyway, I do have an engine cover coming very soon. And then, ladies and gentlemen, I have something huge coming it's probably not gonna get here this week, but it'll probably arrive next week. This one is the biggest out of all of them. I cannot wait to get this, install it, and see how it looks and sounds. And if you guessed exhaust, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I have a much anticipated exhaust coming your way soon, my way soon. And again, I cannot wait to get this thing on. I can't wait to tell you who made it. You guys are gonna be really excited when you find out who made this exhaust. And its I think it's gonna sound amazing. I think it's gonna look amazing. I already know how it looks. It is gonna look amazing. But anyway, those are the channel updates. Those are the Brink of Speed uh, C8 updates. There are some more things that I have in mind to do to the car but those are the things that I have right now that I wanted to just go over with you and let you know about. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I wanted to go over that with you very briefly about my upgrades. Now let's move on to the 
meat of this video, which is all about my C8 Corvette after 10,000 miles. And I have to say, uh, I did a video a couple thousand miles ago. Uh, not too much has changed. Uh, I am going to list pros, cons, and alarming things that have happened. But not really too much has changed in those 2,000 miles. The tires, as you'll see here, are wearing great. Uh, and as I said in the last one, you can't see anything with my paint because of the wrap. But the wrap is wearing amazingly. Uh, there is no issues with the wrap at all. And so the exterior of the car looks phenomenal. Now, as far as the interior goes, it's the same. It's wearing excellent. Uh, don't have any kind of problems with the leather at all. So let me just start off by naming my pros. The looks of this car have only grown on me even more, especially since I got the high wing. That high wing is gorgeous. It looks phenomenal. The performance of the car keeps growing on me as well. At first, I was used to 650 horsepower in my Z06, so this felt like it underperformed compared to that car. But the more and more I drive it, the more it feels like it has super performance. The drivability of this car is second to none. As I've said before in, in videos, it's such an easy car to drive you won't believe how easy this car is to drive. The storage space in this car is something that I always like to address because in my C7 Z06, it had great storage space in the back, but everything slid around back there. I even had the nets, I even had the dividers, but everything slid around back there. I love that about this car. Nothing slides around. There's nothing that's going to fly forward if you slam the brakes on. There's nothing that's going to fly backwards when you, you know, accelerate hard. The acceleration in this car, like I mentioned before, it is growing on me more and more every day. You guys already know I've got some incredible time, 0 to 60, 0 to 100, quarter mile. Excellent, excellent times, and the more I drive it, the more I feel like the acceleration in this car is just incredible. The brakes in this car are also incredible. Now, right now, which I'll talk about in a little bit, I still do have the brake issue that GM has not been able to fix, but the brakes are phenomenal. They have not gone out on me. They continue to be excellent, excellent brakes. The smoothness of this car, and again, I'm not just talking about the suspension. The overall smoothness of this car is incredible from the suspension to the steering to the acceleration and braking to just every feeling you get while you're driving this car. You just feel like you're in a floating vehicle and I can't explain it any other way. It feels like you're driving on cloud nine. <laughs> also, as I've said in uh, past videos, I'm not someone that likes the attention, but that's what this car does. It grabs attention big time, especially since I got that uh, high wing on it. It really started grabbing attention then. The value of this car is incredible, and I know I've talked about this in the past as well, but to only pay $76,000 for this thing and everything that you get with this C8 and every, every experience that you get with this C8, it feels like I should be driving a $200,000 plus thousand dollar car, but the value is incredible. Of course, I love the rear view camera mirror. So like I was saying, you guys know how big of a fan I am of the rear view camera mirror. It is fantastic. I absolutely love it. I don't know what I would do in this car without it. I mean, I would drive it, but I, I would not like it near as much without that rear view camera mirror. The front lift is also a pro, uh, one of many that I've already named, but I love the front end lift. There's a lot of people out there that think that you don't need a front end lift, and 
you don't if you're super, super careful. Uh, but even then, sometimes you'll scrape. And with that front end lift, man, I never scrape on anything. I love it. Also, the front cameras, I did not have those on my 15Z06 because of the fact that they didn't bring those out until 16 with a 2LT or higher. So I love the front cameras. They save the day on not hitting your front splitter. And then the comfort of this car, obviously with it being so smooth, is just right up there. The, the seats though have a lot to do with it. The GT1 seats are the most comfortable in my opinion out of all the seats. So if you're looking at, at uh, purchasing one, make sure you get the GT1 seats if you want the most comfort. As far as the cons go, there's only a couple that I can name because this car is that good. I had a couple of issues that I had to take my uh, car into the dealership for. One was the DCT. I had a little bit of a hiccup one night coming back from a car show where it slammed into gear really hard. And I gotta tell you, that was not a good situation. That sucked. But that's just one of two. The other situation that I had was the rear view camera mirror messed up on me and I had to take it into the dealership. But they fixed it and it's good to go. It has not messed up since then. So those were the two cons that I could come up with and that's it. But I did have something happen that was quite alarming and that was that I received a letter from GM stating that my brakes could possibly fail. Now obviously we've looked into it since then. They're not going to fail to the point where they go out on me. They're just going to be a little bit harder to push when they fail. So I'll have to be ready for that if it happens. But right now GM cannot deliver the parts to any dealership because they don't have the parts to deliver to the dealership. So they can't even fix it right now. So anyway, that was the only alarming thing. Everything else has been freaking phenomenal with this car. So this 10,000 mile review is, in my opinion, all good. I haven't had enough bad to say that it outweighs the good and there's only been a couple of bad things and it hasn't been horrible things. So yeah, that's all I have to report on the 10,000 miles. As you can see, this car is standing up to the miles. It's doing an excellent job. It's not getting old at all. I'm still enjoying every minute that I spend in the car. And I know you will too if you get one. Are, are 10,000 miles a lot of miles? It's not for a normal car. Like I bought my SUV about a month after I bought this and my SUV already has like 19,000 miles on it. So it already has 9,000 more miles than this. But 10,000 miles in less than a year for me on a Corvette is actually fairly high. When I got rid of my C7 Z06, I had owned it for a couple of years and it still only had like, I think 14,000 miles on it and I bought it with 3,400 miles on it. So putting this many miles on the car before it's a year old is a pretty big deal for me, but just goes to show you how much I love this car. So anyway, that's gonna wrap this up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs up squad, give me a big thumbs up if you did. Leave comments down below letting me know uh, what you think about the C8 Corvette. And if you have not joined this wonderful Brink of Speed community, make sure you do so by smashing that red subscribe and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Help me hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of 2021. Uh, we're at 30,000 and I absolutely love it. But if we can get to 50 this year, that would be so awesome. So ladies and gentlemen, you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you out on the road.